Hey YouTubers, uh, as the title says, this is an unofficial unboxing video, and uh, well, it's uh, already been unboxed, but that's going to benefit those who uh, might be looking for information on Ghoul RC products, if they have it or if they want to get it, because uh, there's not much uh, support out there yet, uh, I haven't found much. Um, I went ahead and tried it, I uh, was looking for a spare setup for an uh, 8 scale buggy, and uh, it was a cheap kit uh, compared to Castle and, and uh, other companies out there. Um, didn't really need anything too serious to, uh, you know, just put in an uh, extra buggy. Um, so I was, uh, you know, what the heck. Uh, I didn't um, uh, want to go with the normal, uh, you know, uh, Horizon Hobby brand stuff. So I figured I'd give this one a try. Ghoul RC uh, turns out to have... Uh, rights given to them from Hobby Star. Hobby Star is actually uh, what is in this ESC uh, and behind the motor. Um, this ESC is the 120. I got the 150 kit, uh, the 150 amp, um, the 2650 KV brushless with the LCD program card. Uh, and like I said, I found that uh, through another video on YouTube here, uh, I will try to link that video for uh, networking uh, info about Ghoul RC, that uh, the, the gentleman found that um, Hobby Star was what programmed the, uh, or what helps program the ESC. And he was correct because what I ended up doing was going online and buying the Hobby Star. LED program card for like 12 bucks and it successfully programs settings on the ESC uh, and not the LCD program card. It comes up and it's it doesn't make sense on uh, what it displays um, and has a lot of parameter errors and, and it just doesn't work. Um, there's no software that comes with the kit. Uh, it comes with a USB link to a computer, but that's absolutely useless without software. Well, if you go to Hobby Star's website, um, you can program the ESC because uh, it's Hobby Star driven software in there. Um, out in the field, though, you can just hook this up to the, uh, you know, where the receiver cord goes and turn it on if you have a LiPo battery hooked up to it, or you can get a receiver battery uh, and hook it up to the. Uh, to the program card so one one port uh, ESC one port battery uh, and uh, program it and at home if you want to look cool you can pull out your laptop and do it that way but that's just it it's not necessary um, they what I found out was that Hobby Star has a 110 scale uh, ESC it's a 120 amp turbo it's called and it calls specifically for an LCD program card. Uh, everything else Hobby Star has uses this LED program card. So that makes sense because there are settings in here that are for boost timings and turbo timings and things like that that would make sense to have on a uh, 10 scale drift car. Um, and it, like I said, does absolutely nothing for this ESC. Uh, the Hobby Star series are called Beast, and well, so does Ghoul RC. On their little printout that uh, for an instruction page that they include, um, they call this series Beast series. So it's that's another clue that uh, they are selling, um, well, that Hobby Star is selling their rights um, to their equipment. So. That's what I've found. Um, Ghoul RC's website is very incomplete. They don't have much for anything on there. No downloads. Um, Hobby Star has some stuff. I was able to get a program to have on the computer to hook up the LCD card. to The computer program actually successfully does um, the settings, uh, program the settings on the ESC, but this is a lot quicker and faster and easier and all the above. So uh, it actually does work. Um, ZTW is a company that I found also has similar uh, program cards, uh, LCD type, um, and their uh, ESCs look similar. And I was able to find on ZTW Shenzhen's website that uh, there's a download to update the software in the LCD card, which I did. And all it does is change the name 
when it turns on from Google RC to ZTW now, and it says actually ZTW Turbo. So there's another indication that this really belongs with the 120 Turbo ESC for the 110 scale, uh, and not with this Beast Series line ESCs. And I think the 120 Turbo is called something different with uh, um, Hobby Star. Um, I can't remember. It doesn't matter. So anyway, I will also show you how, at least how this fits into a buggy. Uh, it fits really nice. Uh, well, all I have to show you, honestly, is from uh, low C8. So um, that's what I'll do. The uh, durability and functionality is very strong. I give that five stars. Um, it is incredibly powerful. It's an 18 volt motor, so that's a five cell. It's a 2650 kv it's no joke um it it ripped the tires off the rims off the uh, low c8 i don't even know how fast it goes it goes faster than 60. um the uh four cell on it it hits 52 miles an hour with a 15 tooth um and with the uh five cell it, it just i i don't know the top speed the tires explode so i uh, it shouldn't be going that fast with a low c8 anyhow um I've flipped the car, uh, you know, spun it around, blah, blah, and it holds up. The stuff doesn't flinch. It has very smooth throttle response for non-censored. Um, I do have the 150 in the buggy right now running a Novak 2200 KV, uh, and it's censored, and it's very responsive. It feels very connected to uh, your throttle response on your, um, on your transmitter. Um, so it, it does run very well. Uh, there's, there's no finickiness about it. It's very solid. Uh, and, um, it comes pre-wired. There's no way to, uh, pull these out. These are not bullet connectors embedded. They are straight soldered in. Um, so when you go to shorten these, be careful. Because don't screw up. <laughs> uh, cause that's all you got. Um, it does come with a Deans, which I've found to um, be very, uh, well, I don't like them uh, because they will pop off when you're on the track and if you hit a jump wrong or something and you nose dive or if you flip or if you just hit a wrong way, these connectors will just disconnect. So I've already on the 150 taken the initiative to change that out. Um, it is nice that they include them. I don't know really actually if Dean's handles 200 amp. Um, I guess it does. But uh, anyway, um, it comes with uh, 6.5 millimeter uh, bullet connectors. And uh, that's, uh, I think, well enough. Um, motor runs, uh, well, depending on how you have it geared. It, it runs well, though. It's got these really nice fins on it. Um, it looks nice, but they only put their logo on one side, so it's really on some models like the low C8, you don't see the the name. It's not there, it, and it's like you know up against where the drive shaft is. So that's a little strange. At least Novak's on both sides, um, so you can represent. Anyway, um, that's uh, pretty much it for the review and for the troubleshooting and for any info anybody needs. Um, I mean, leave a comment if you know anything more or if I was wrong about anything, um, you know, please correct me uh, if you know any, uh, any more info. So please, please leave a comment. And, or if you like the video, uh, please like it and uh, spread it around, pass it around. Like I'm saying, I'm trying to, you know, start a... a a knowledge base for Google RC here. Um, and let me uh, at least show how it is in the buggy. All right, so here's my low C8, and uh, it it fits in very well. It, well, <laughs> it's got a little bit of a bird nest of wires right here because I have a combined uh, couple of two cells to make a four cell because my four cell is uh, out of commission right now. Um, but yeah, this is the 150, and it fits in here very nicely. I shortened wires down to, uh, well, about two inches, <laughs> and uh, reposition where the uh, bullet connectors are so I can swap out motors. Here's the uh, Novak 2200 with the uh, with a castle cooler, which is very 
very awesome. Um, it's a very good investment, ten, eleven dollars, I think, and it literally has the motor running like up to thirty degrees cooler. No lie, I I am serious about that. I will make a video, or maybe, um, some still pictures and uh, post them in a video or something, uh, or with a video of um, temperature readings, but uh, something. Anyways, um, so yeah, it, it definitely fits in there nicely. It's got room to, to breathe because it's it's always in good temp um, with how hard I run it. Uh, well, and especially with the body, how it's got the, uh, the inlets, uh, that usually helps too. So um, it, it does very nicely and, and uh, I don't know if it was positioned up front on another buggy or whatever, um, but you know, this is all I have to demo it with. So uh, it's just on a uh, Velcro pad and then um, the uh, sensor wire actually is coiled up down there. I don't know what if it's a 70 millimeter length or whatever, but um, I've got the ESC turned so that the sensor plug is right there facing over to it. So it's, you know, pretty short. And then, of course, the, the wire is the same way. So it's very short because uh, I can swap them out to uh, the 2650, which I found to be, you know, just ridiculously overpowered. Um, I mean, you know, these buggies come with, what, a 1800 stock? And uh, a 1900 is pretty good on the track for competition. Um, this 2200 launches it quite well. And, and well, because of its power, um, it's got a longer track time because I don't have to uh, make it work so hard. <laughs> but anyway, so there. I just, well, just needed to do a demo. Just wanted to do a demo here um, of the fit. So, uh there you go. Hope you liked the video and, and uh, found any of the info on this Ghoul RC uh, equipment to be helpful. Um, and like I said, please leave comments and like the video if you liked it. Thanks.